me down on all of this finding before revealing who the sickle was. It was Guadalupe's adopted parents in an attempt of getting revenge for their son's torture and execution. Tabitha and her husband Ethan tried starving Jamal by collapsing his primary food source. Jamal has now officially been a victim of a hate crime. I've ever heard. And I'll be damned to let that slide. Wasting no time. Only five minutes later, and my best bounty hunters were on a mission to find the demonic duo. While I finished up sanitizing, stripping, and redoing the roaches enclosure. Before long, I was finally done, and not a single maggot was left behind. It was finally time to reintroduce my beloved Lizzie's. It honestly felt surreal being this up close and personal with BBC of this magnitude. Hey, yo, what the freak is that? What are you doing here, bro? You're in the wrong colony. Jesus Christ, I'll be dealing with you later. But like I was saying, my colony is doing better than ever, and while there were some casualties from this board fly infestation, my big black cock empire is bigger than it's ever been before. After scooping up the last few rubbers, I basked in the glory of my work. The cocks were saved, and that meant Jamal was saved. It was an overall guppy, but I would be a fool to forget that we are at war. Oh, and Caroline! Only five minutes later, this is Fred, and he is unfortunately dead. You see, I fought Fred only a week ago. Has already died. Well, to be fair, Fred was a still mature male, so I didn't expect him to live too long. In fact, the exact day I got Fred, I threw him in with his sister Cleopatra. Since I knew Fred was coming towards the end of his life, and he would.